You have been, and still are, a fairy tale princess. Yes. You can wear those rose-colored glasses anytime you want, because what you see through those is what you have created. Adventure, fun, playing, loving, kindness, caring. This is all of it in the world, but it's everywhere you are. We want to thank you both for being just who you are and bringing good to our life. Okay, you guys, it is Christine's wedding special part two, you all. So beautiful. I cried. I thought it was yeah. very, very beautiful. And we're going to get into all the juicy details about this wedding, you guys. <laughs> but it's Mary. And I'm uh, to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon, you all, because this wedding special was very moving. I thought it was very special. Everybody was talking about how he's a good man. He's a really, really good man. Peyton said it, his, her daddy said it, he's a wonderful Hunter man. Said it. McKelty said he's a great man. Yeah. So I guess that means you are not it, Cody. Yeah, but anyway, I'm not gonna start this way special off with Cody. I, I'm trying to be petty, but I really do think David is a phenomenal man. I just thought, I thought what he said was so beautiful about him saying that I found my queen, I found my unicorn, I found my person. Yeah. I genuinely think that Christine and David are soulmates, that they have found each other. You know, and I wish them so many more years of happiness. You yeah. know, even... Do you think the pe they were saying that because they saw the show where Cody had talked about... And she's a good man. That, yeah, then, do you yeah. Think that's why they're saying that? Oh, okay. Absolutely. So they're all watching the show then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Rex is, though, because he said he was a wonderful man. But, you know... That is funny. I just thought, you know, because even, even though... Cody, I don't think he's generally happy for Christine. I do think that what he said, there was this one that he said, which I thought was very interesting and really kind of nice. Mm -hmm. He said that, you know, Christine did something so magical. Like, she manifested a soulmate connection, someone who loved her, who cared about her. And she did something magical where she actually drew that to her. Mm -hmm. Like, she believed so much. She he said so? Yeah, he said oh. that she did something magical. Well, oh. he did say all that. I'm, you know, I'm adding my whole set oh, of oh, oh. paprika. But he said that he did think, this is what he said verbatim. Okay. I'm going to find the clip and try to put it in here. Yeah. Without having to watch the whole thing. But he said that, you know, I think Christine did something really magical. Like, she put so much energy and time into wanting to find her soulmate and somebody who will care for her and stuff that she kind of did something brought magical it. where she brought it to her. Mm. That's what he said. Wow. And I do think that that's what Christine did. Mm -hmm. I think that she really believed and she really wanted that. Persuades. And she, the thing is with Christine, she moved forward. Yes. She never looked back. She never did. And when I she admire that. that U-Haul out of that driveway. She left ramen noodles and, in the and, back. And she didn't even put her hand out to be like, bye. She, I bet she didn't even look in the rearview mirror. She like, was gone. gone. Okay. And she kept on moving forward. I think she that's really so did. important. And I admire that so much because yes, it's sometimes it. it's not easy. But I think And went was, straight into dating. This is what I admire about yeah. her. Yeah. Because for me, I I, I, mean, I was just scared. You know, yeah. I did not go into dating. Well, I, I actually, I was looking back. I was waiting for my ex to kind of grow. I was really hoping that he came back, which he did. Six years later but then you see I kept on like um, what was it? it was like I was waiting on him but I was in communication with him yeah so like we divorced but then he was begging me throughout the whole time of to come back right you know what I'm saying so I kind of continue to have hope for our future so I wasn't going to mess it up by being with anybody else yeah I mean Though, I, w I kept on saying, but I don't think you're ready yet. Even though he was with other people during the six years. And so it was like, when we finally decided to get back together after the six years, it was like, it was like yes, I waited. I'm going to have my happy ever after. Yeah, but I really admire that right away she was done, which is what I should have done, be done completely. And she wasn't afraid because I think for myself, I was very afraid. She wasn't afraid of going out there, putting herself out there, and finding someone new. And I think the thing is with I her, she that. kept like an optimism. You know what I think? Yes. I think she kept the optimism. Yes. Like even her laughing about, 
I'm so happy I'm not married to him anymore. Like she wasn't sitting down here in sadness. Like even if she was having some feelings about him or whatever, like yes. she laughed that stuff off. She did. Like she stayed joyous. She stayed optimistic. Yes. And I thought what her mother said was so beautiful. She said, you know, you wear those rose colored glasses whenever the hell you want to. Because through those rose colored glasses, you have actually created that world in a reality for yourself. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I thought that was so beautiful because that's what she's done. Like, I think it's just so poignant for all of us, really. Yes. Like, those who are thinking about somebody in the past or whatever the case may be, or we're go. hoping for something new, but we're still holding on and clutching you on to the past because while you, trying to go forward, but you dragging back. Like, you exactly. can't do that. And you can't find that that wonderful person can't come into your life because you're no. still holding on to the past. You're still looking back there. But she left. She was gone. And she didn't look started back. her life, her yeah. dating life, like almost right away. Like and she looking for that joyous. new person. I'm going and hopeful. And hopeful, optimistic. That showed even her faith. She was healing that someone through laughter. Coming. Exactly. Like she did all those things. I think it's so admirable. And now we absolutely love Christine. Yeah. You know, it's just very she's inspiring. such a very inspiring. Very I think that's inspiring. what you have to do when you want something for your life, like you genuinely want it. Yes. You have to continue to look forward and never look back. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And just because if you are holding on to something, what you really want is not going to come to you because yeah. the universe and God are looking at you like, well, you still hold on to the Tom, Dick, Jane, Harry, Jerry, and yeah. all them people back there. How you want your soulmate who is forward? Yes. But you, you on the boat going forward, but you also going back. That, like, yeah. who we? We so you kind of stay stagnant. Yeah. So you want yeah. to continue to be in the middle of the ocean, yeah. wondering where's my person? Well, you looking back, so I can't help you with folks. Yeah. What you want from me? Know. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like this whole wedding special. I felt like this one was so a lot inspiring. better than part yes, one. Yes. This is what we wanted to see for the whole wedding special. This I did was not a wedding need special. to see. I personally, apart I did not, from the kissing, I didn't need to see Robin. Robin shoving her tongue down that man's throat. That was nasty. Did he allow her to? Because he I don't know. He was lips, like he said his lips were tightly clenched. It seemed like he was gasping for air. <laughs> he was like he was he was trying to tell them, hold up one second when you know, because I still want to talk. <laughs> and she wanted to be like, just shut up about Christine already. I'm like you just Robin is so effing cringe. Like, cause I only got my last nerve child. <laughs> like, but like I'm just happy that they did it better. Like, I just they wish did. that it would have been a three-parter. It should have been. The yeah. first one, I felt like it was so choppy. Like, we're getting mm -hmm. married. We're getting Cody. We're getting yeah. Robin. And then it's like, one day we're doing the facials. Next day we're on the boat. Next day we're um, doing the wedding really, rehearsal. Really, really it was so choppy. fast. It was, it was really, really like, choppy. And I wanted to see the dress, her shoes in her dress. It should have been I wanted to see her going to go check the cake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just wish it was All more slowed stuff. down. The part, the yeah. wedding, it was slowed down. So I was yeah. really able to enjoy it. So I didn't mind the little clips of Cody and Robin or whatever. Exactly. And I'm glad exactly. they didn't keep the camera on them for too long where we're seeing all of that. Exactly. Like, they really should have just removed that kiss. Mm -hmm. As soon as she's like, hey, I'm not talking about that. I ain't talking about that child no more. <laughs> but I thought it was very nice. I yeah. love that um, the dad was there. Um, even, was it... Janelle talked about Rex being there, like he's this huge polygamous figure, or whatever. But he's yes. here for his daughter's wedding, exactly. for to a monogamous, and you yes. know she is doing this. But I feel like the dad genuinely is happy for her. She he has yeah. seen his daughter suffer through so much. Yeah. Even though he might have let the mother suffer, he has seen his daughter suffer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm happy. So strange that way. Yeah. When they're not with a woman no more, it's like forget that wife. However, the daughter, no, my baby, you don't want my daughter to be going through what that. Do you what? Want to stand and up then for you, yourself. And then you get upset. But that that was somebody else's daughter, though. That you just messed over. You forgot about that. But now it comes to your child, my princess. Don't miss treats, my princess. And then you know it's. I mean, what is that? Me, but I am happy that what Rex was there. That? Exactly, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I am very happy that Rex was there and everything, stuff like yeah. that. You could tell like, he was having a hard time walking her, but he smiled through I it know. and he walked her up and the pain and walked him back. I thought it was yeah. beautiful, yeah. and I just thought it was such a great wedding. Like them having the flash mob. I don't know why Jared gave that grown man a lap dance and was rubbing his chest and all that stuff. I, I'm happy. That I didn't know the what the um the lap dance was. It was improvised. I was very shocked. Yes, Christine I, I, had no idea or whatever. I but guess maybe he also had no idea too. Then 
David had no idea that he was going to be getting a lap dance from his friend. Yeah, he, he had no idea. Yeah, all he knew the chair was coming. Christine did not know. Yeah, and then Jared calls her up to come and do it. I just wonder if he's like, because you know Christine, she comes from this religious background. Right, right. And I feel as though they were trying to shock these people also. Yeah, because even and Katie's then also was, maybe he was also trying to be like, uh, David, I'm trying to get you some too. Let her know this is how supposed to be done just in case you don't know <laughs> and it's funny that christine took up this challenge but it Christine's was i was like, like um uh, my thing is i don't know going to the bedroom because her it seems as though her dress was coming undone and then she was spilling her breast in his face i was just like what and then is she's like having him hold her extra and, and he kept on squeezing her bottom the whole time this it whole wedding he kept on reminding like me of patting her on the butt I was just like, and she people, kept on shoving her tongue down his throat. I'm I don't like, know how long it's been for both of them, but it's been a, a little bit. But to me, it's, it, it kind of gave me Courtney and Travis vibes, like how you just like, like you found your person, you just can't keep your hands off them, like, honey. Like that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. But I think it's very sweet because they're finding this in their their um older like years or whatever stuff. I think it's I so sweet. Yeah, you I know? wouldn't mind you all doing that though, even private. <laughs> Hey, look, you, and that keeps them young, though, because isn't it always the young people who are always doing PDA and always oh, kissing and stuff? Oh, right. You know, it's a little refreshing to see older people, like, still be having that youthfulness, having that, oh, I don't give a damn what nobody see. This is my man. I'm a... Well, they sure were doing something. <laughs> it was a mess. Like, Christine, this man, she just put cake in his mouth, and she's like... Like I know, I was like, and then licking her finger. I was like, what is going but on here? She was like, hey, leave something for tonight. And then Chrissy was like, oh, we are. I was like, I don't yeah. want the visual, but it's coming in my mind. <laughs> it was, like Judell said, it's their wedding, but it was, It's a little weird. My kids were like, it's a little uh, weird, but hey, it's your wedding, so whatever. Like, that was my sentiment. Janelle was like, look, I keep all that stuff in the bedroom. I am a lady in the streets. Even and, though I might be a freak in the sheets. You will never hear me say that to all. You will never hear me say that. <laughs> then you know something? How did we even find out about that? I don't even know how we found about Janelle being... Well, know. I already suspected it. Yeah, I you did suspect it. I, 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 I thought I she might that. have been a bit of a prude. That's what no, I thought. I like, how do you that. not let your man kiss you yeah. and you don't like she him even hugging you? was too logical to be a prude. Like, because, <laughs> it's like, Janelle went into this relationship specifically what she wanted. And women like that, that they is part of their list. Exactly. So, I just knew that she was doing that. But that was, and then, of course, Cody, all the stuff he was saying. Yeah, but yeah, that was that was a lot, David and Christine. But yeah, I okay, I'm not mad at you all. Beautiful wedding Obviously, there's the passion. There's sir. Oh, now I I can't wait for the look back. I hope they're doing the look back. I hope for they're this. doing a look. I would love to see a look back for everybody to look back at Christine's wedding. Like, please mm-hmm. do that until you guys have the new season. Like, just let them look back at stuff. I know. I would love to see that. I would love to see the look back for that. For, to you see know, I what, wouldn't mind seeing what Cody and Robin had to say about the way that they weren't included in them. Yeah. You know, I'm just yeah. saying. And it's funny, it was cute because you have the brown children, right? The brown family, right? Now you have David, the Wooly family seems to party just as much as the brown family, right? Yeah. It seems to maybe they're, it seems as though they're a little wilder. That grown man giving them a lap dance and calling him daddy. I said, who the hell is this? This one right here. And you see it though. I mean, David was so like, whatever. I don't know. He grabbed the guy's bottom too. I don't know if the guy was falling down or what was going on. I was like, what the hell? So, anyway, but, but hey, that's his friend. Like they're, you know, friends or he thinks of him as a son or whatever. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that guy from The Bachelor in Paradise. Remember there was this one guy who fell down and broke his leg after he had been causing all this drama, right? Remember that season, Bachelor in Paradise? He had started some stuff, and next you know he's in the in the hospital. He's like this. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, the yeah, you know yeah. the Michael guy who was a single dad. Yes. And yes. He, oh, his friend who was always trying to jump on him or something. No, like, Michael was the one who the one, jumped on yeah, the bartender yeah, yeah, yeah. and wrapped his legs around yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. That's what yes, it reminded yes. me of. And yes, I remember. And he, the guy is married though. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, yes, yeah. And he held Michael by the bottom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that time. I was like, so what's going on here? But yeah, the guy is actually. <laughs> but yeah, it just has this crazy friend. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but I think that was everything for the that wedding. I thought truly accepting him was beautiful. I thought that's Aspen it. saying that. That's why I'm giving the speech, not you. I don't know it was shady, but I yeah, thought it was it. good shade. That was, was fun shade. It was funny. hilarious. Yeah, was Everyone's funny. like, oh! But you know, people are thinking that too. Yeah, Mike LT, no. We don't want you giving the, the speech <laughs> because you're going to be very inappropriate. Or if when we don't want you all give you the speech at all. No. When I think I let you when if I hope I she, she missed out. She definitely missed out. I Even if she said, I mean, I know she said she did because she had school or whatever. I personally think it was because of Peyton. Because even McKelsey so. said, I don't know why she didn't come. Yeah. Even if she doesn't have a good relationship with Gwen, or um, the excuse Easy. about her it being for school was not it. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think I, it had to do with But there's Peyton. a way you could have done it. You could have said, you know, I just don't want to. You could have even sat down uh, in a, on the other side with the Wooly family. You didn't have to sit down with Christine's people. Like your granddad that was there, just your been grandma so was odd, there. Though. All of that. Like, you didn't have to, like, have any interactions with him. You could have just ignored him. You know, we really your didn't. Family. You know, you could have. And the thing is, also, we didn't even see Leon, like, at all. Until the very end when Leon showed the picture. the picture. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I mean, you could have done that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you'd have to be on camera. You'd have to be anywhere near him. I think she would have enjoyed it. I know, with dancing family. with her mom yeah. I mean, she and all that. Out. I think she missed out for sure. Yeah. But if it's school, then I understand. But, I mean, listen, I was in college. Yeah, I mean, unless it's the day before you got to take a test. I mean... Yeah. You could have still gone. That's what yeah. I feel. But hey, she said she had to do school and she couldn't miss them. Then that's yeah. fine. But I hope if it was because of Peyton, I wish that wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? But I think that was everything for this uh, wedding. Beautiful, beautiful ceremony. We wish really David was. and Christine many, many years yeah, of happiness, absolutely. love, and passion. Yes. <laughs> you certainly. And, and I'm, ha I'm so happy for Christine. Yeah. Because you have someone who's passionate about you and you're passionate about them. And who loves you? And who loves you and who accepts you, ex like what Aspen said, ex accepts you exactly how you are. Yeah. Exactly how you are. And I love the speech that the mom gave. You're a Such warrior. Such a beautiful speech that you're a princess, you're a warrior. So yes, I am. I love just all I of just that. I just loved it. Yeah, it gave, it had all the feels. Beautiful, yes. beautiful, beautiful special. And oh my goodness, can we just talk about the colors for the wedding? Oh, you know, great really colors. They really colors complimented the wedding, their skin. Really, really beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful rich, colors. rich yes. colors. Like, I loved it. And yeah. I'm happy that everybody didn't have the same color, but it was all in the same family. All I felt. blended. And all of those colors were in her bouquet. I know, right? So, so gorgeous. Very, very beautiful colors. You really think about that. The purples and the plum and the the Burnt pinks, the orange, rust orange, the, pinks, the greens. The yes. Yeah, just beautiful. Very, but it, did, very it definitely gorgeous. gave me the like bohemian, kind of like a bohemian wedding for sure. Absolutely. Really you know, earthy, walking around in the grass with no yes, shoes with on. The flash of the sun. Yeah. Like the like the like a sunset. Yeah. With all the different colors. It used. was just so nice. Oh, oh my gorgeous. god, so classy. Very very classy. Yeah. And I love the fabric of those dresses. So Almost nice. Almost like a chiffon. Yeah. Like a satin. Yeah. Oh, very nice. very nice. Very and I Everybody love. Looks great. I love the way they did their hair. I know they had I the little love, braids, the very braids, flow, it was very bohemian well yes. I felt it's very well very, 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 very well And I'm glad she didn't have like and, a normal uh, um white um walking down the aisle, like the aisle is white or whatever. Like she let it yeah. be the grass and then she just threw down some um petals. Yes. For yes, me personally, yes. I would have just filled that whole thing with rose petals. So I'm just walking on rose petals on top of the grass, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I and all the different it. colors of the roses. I know that, so that, that would have been so very, cute. very nice. But I thought it was so cute, um, regardless. Yes, I thought so. Phenomenal it was wedding. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It, it was just. Everything she deserved it more. Done. Very, very nice. And, and the, the, that place that David chose. Yeah. And I loved the. They were going down the aisle. Uh, and they had the there, light and then sticks. The glow sticks. Very nice. Just just really wonderfully done. I love her lace, which was kind of like an old lace. Yeah. With uh, not white, but like an off white. Yeah. And usually I don't like like late, all lace yeah, I'm not um, really wedding dresses, that either, but, but I really love that. And I look good. And I also like, it was actually sheer. Like when you look at her dress, like yeah. that was it was like kind of like sheer here, and then it was sheer all the way towards and the back. And right and here too, there was a little yeah. sheerness, but uh, quite a big dip. 
Oh yeah, yeah very sometimes big it felt like all her breasts were you kind know, of spill out. I so know, it was it like... was actually quite cute falling off the shoulder. Yeah. I was like, girl. But I loved it. The flowers in her hair. Um just very, very classy. Nice. Just very, very, very nice. And then Ten out of the shoes. Um, yeah. As soon as the wedding Walking is over, barefoot, we all like, oh, here for really it. Nice. I know that I think that would be something like I'll do. As soon as you dealt with those heels, because I, uh, I haven't worn heels in such a long time, just wear flip flops. And the dresses are long enough, no one has to see my flip flops. But I like have flip flops for your guests. Yeah. So, but I love garden weddings. I think they're I so love beautiful. Garden weddings and stuff. I and love garden cake. weddings. And you know that wedding in um, Rich, um, Crazy Rich Asians? That wedding that they had in that movie? That's the way I see my wedding being. Either like that yeah, or a garden flies, wedding. The glowy I flies. know, them having the water as the aisle. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I, I cried when I saw that wedding. Yeah, just watch was... Crazy Rich Asians just to watch the wedding scene. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. And the, the song. Oh the my song. god, I almost cried. Yeah, I know. That was, Kyle. Yeah, that was a very beautiful, beautiful wedding. And it was Christine. I love the cake. Yeah, not a lot of icing on it. We definitely wanted the icing, but <laughs> what I liked about it, I think, I think even the flowers on it were real flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminded me of a girlfriend of mine who she does wedding cakes like that with the real flowers on right. it. Right. So, um, of course, they're not edible because they're like real flowers. But yeah. Yeah, I just, just wonder if the guests had any of the cake because they did seem like it was enough for 300 people. Well, they had three cakes. Well, that's, that's still the double, like enough for 300 like three people. different cakes. Was it 300 people she had? Yeah, she said she invited 300 people. So that wow, cake looked like it could maybe serve maybe 100 people. Well, hey. You but hey, if you want to take your cake home, take your cake home. Yeah. But you know, you can cut it really small. Usually cakes really, it shouldn't be that much. Like everybody has just a tiny little slice. It doesn't have to be any big slice. Most of, of the cake. time, the wedding, if you guys watch like um, YouTubers, like cake um, people who like create wedding cakes or whatever, sometimes they'll have these really huge cakes that are actually made out of cardboard. It's just for show. They'll ice it really well though. Mm -hmm. and then there'll be a small section of the cake that's mm -hmm. actually real cake. Yeah. And that's where that the people will slice from. And they'll do a little thing or whatever. Yeah. But then they'll hand oh, out oh. cheat cake at the back. Yeah. Our cake was real. It was three, it was, it was big too. Yeah, it was really good. It was three, it was silver and pink. That yeah, was it was very cute. Colors. It was um, three big cakes. Yeah. Yeah, and actually four. Because the very top, we kept that, and we're going to keep it for the year. But we ended up giving it to my dad to take back home. Because he had come from Sierra Leone. Yeah. Yeah, but um, that was such a beautiful wedding. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm going to have a three-tier But yeah, that was a real cake. cake. And we... Ate it like the guests were all there. They took some home. Well, it that's was how it should be. People should be cake. able to have cake. Real. Yeah, people should be able to have cake and the actual it. cake. For me, for my wedding, I'm gonna have a three tiered, maybe even more tiered, pie upside down cake. Or maybe I'll just have my own little tier and keep it to myself. Cause me, I don't care about no vanilla cake. I want pie upside down cake that have the butter, the brown sugar, the little maraschino cherries, and the pineapple. That's my favorite cake in the whole damn world. You can't tell me nothing else. It used to be chocolate. I know. But these kids. Anything I like, all of a sudden they like it. Too. I liked it first. Actually, <laughs> I don't even know what I used to. I used to make that. I mean, you used to love chocolate cake. All your cakes used to be chocolate cake, and then all of a sudden she got a taste of this pineapple upside down cake. And now that we have an oven, I'm actually going to get the ingredients and I'm going to make it next week. <laughs> so I'm super excited, <laughs> but it is merry, you guys. Oh we want you guys to like. Subscribe. And comment down below. Tell us what is your favorite cake. Yeah, and let us know what you guys thought about the wedding special. I know, loved it. Bye. Bye.